Hi, my name is Matthew Pierce. I'm a software engineer, and today I'd like to talk with you about opening .ts files. Now, .ts files can be one of two type of file. One is what's called a video transport stream file, and the other is a Nokia QT translation file, or translation source file, which contains strings and, and uh, strings of letters and whatnot that um, are applicable to a QT application. Now, the, the video transport stream file is a file that's typically used on DVDs and things like that. It's a compressed video stream, compressed in MPEG-2 format, and it's very easily openable with some of the freely available uh, DVD or video viewing programs out there. Uh, one of the ones that opens it up pretty well is the VLC media player. You can see right here. You can go to videoland.org and get a download, and, and as you can observe here, they have a version for just about everything out there, so you shouldn't have any problems finding a player for it. Once you do get have the VLC installed, you can go to the media menu and say open file, and I had to scoot my, uh, my file browser off the side because it's such a long list, but if you look here, you'll see that in the video files, there it is right there, .ts. That's how you can open up a .ts file using VLC player. Now, with the QT files, that's from the, the uh, QT tools, you can go to the Nokia website, developer.nokia.com, and you can download the QT software development kit, and that has several tools in it that will allow you to uh, view it and manipulate it. Um, there's one tool in there called LConvert. It's a utility that will allow you to convert it to a different format that is uh, applicable to other applications, not just the one that it was created for in particular. It's called an OPH file, which is more generally available. So uh, QT files, excuse me, TS files are either video transport stream files or Nokia QT um, translation source files, and the tools are freely available on the internet to open them. Thank you. My name is Matthew Pierce. Thanks for watching.